Youth charity The Prince's Trust has lit up Cardiff City Hall with a creative display celebrating the hundreds of thousands of people who have been a part of its 40-year history. The picture of Paloma Faith is made up of over a thousand images of people who have helped to make the charity what it is today, to acknowledge everything the youth charity is and its supporters have achieved together. It's just about reaching dusk here at City Hall and you will almost be able to see the portrait. But you may be asking yourself, why are there two portraits being put onto City Hall? Well, as part of the Princess's Trust 40th year, helping over 100,000 people, they've decided to go to artist Nathan Wyburn to project two images of all the people the Princess Trust has helped onto City Hall. Uh, it feels absolutely incredible to have my Paloma Faith portrait for the Princess Trust on display here at uh, Cardiff City Hall. Uh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. I pass this building every day, so it's, and I've seen loads of other artists in the past that have had work projected onto huge buildings across the world, so it's the first time for me having something on this magnitude, so I'm really, really excited for it. And how long does it take you to, to make something like this? This portrait was a lot more intricate than some of my other portraits. I'm obviously used to using food and other odd materials, but a Photoshop collage like this actually took me almost two days to complete. So for someone with a short attention span like I do, which isn't really good for an artist, um, it, it was actually a really big challenge for me, but I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. And you're certainly getting the reward by having on City Hall. Tell us a little bit about your uh, affiliation with the Princess Trust. Uh, originally, I got in touch with the Princess Trust because I write for Cardiff Times Magazine magazine with my colleague Wayne Courtney and um, we were doing a fundraising concert for them and ever since we've just kept kept on working together and I've also done some of their ambassadors using Nom Nom Chocolate which is one of the companies that the Princess Trust have helped create and it's just brilliant to, to keep working with them they do absolutely incredible things um, they, they help youngsters out of really really difficult situations and obviously one of their amazing ambassadors Paloma Faith um, has come through that similar situation and been helped by the Trust so to create her portrait using thousands of images of people and celebrities that are part of the Trust seems so fitting so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. And when did you first learn that you had this talent to make portraits like this? How long does it take you to, to realise that I'm really good at this? Um, I've been drawing since as far, as far back as I can remember, probably about eight years old. I can remember drawing Power Rangers and things with my dad. Um, but when I was about 18, I read a newspaper headline about Simon Cowell, which said, really love him or hate him, which made me think about Marmite. So I did this portrait using Marmite on toast, which was the original, unusual material that I used. And then ever since then, it's just been branching out, loads of brands, products, travel the world doing it. Obviously took it onto Britain's Got Talent in 2011, which escalated the profile a little bit. And now I get to do things like this for a living, which is, is an absolute pleasure. Along with Paloma Faith, John Nicholas was the other person to be shown on City Hall and I spoke to him about when he first found out that Prince's Trust wanted to use his picture to be projected on City Hall.